Hey guys, Trip Chains here. I wanted to talk today a bit about the Cosmic Wings and how you get these. These are one of the rarest cosmetics in game and they're quite difficult to find, thanks RNG. So these come from a unique monster called Princess Lillian, located in Whimsydale. Whimsydale is a rainbow level which is only accessible by killing a rainbow goblin out in adventure mode important to note that rainbow goblins will not spawn inside a rift so you need to be out doing bounties or just generally farming out in adventure mode to have a chance of finding a rainbow goblin and then princess Lillian is a very rare unique spawn within whimsydale so typical goblin run will vary um, based on where you where you read about it but there are a bunch of goblin farming guys out there um so in act one i would typically go through the southern highlands cave of the moon clan in the southern highland it always spawns um the northern highlands the royal crypts Lyric's Passage, which you can get to via running through some of Cathedral Level 2 or Cathedral Level 1. And also, uh, Festering Woods. So, when the Princess Lillian video I show a little later, the Rainbow Goblin for that was actually found in the Festering Woods. In Act 2, which is where I am right now, I'll typically go through the Western Channels Level 1 and 2. Uh, which you can get to via the Ancient Waterway Waypoint. The Eastern Channels, Level 1 and 2, which again, you get to via the same Ancient Waterway Waypoint. The Sewers of Caudium, lots of sewers. If you want to look for goblins, they, they, they seem to like the sewers, um, which you get to via the City of Caudium Waypoint. And the Stinging Winds and Black Canyon Mines. I have found a Rainbow Gob previously in the Black Canyon Mines, but I think to me those locations have a little lower goblin spawn rate. But you know, that's just what I've had in RNG um, as well. Uh, in Act 3, I would typically go through the Fields of Slaughter, which is via the been killed here by, by the Bridge of Classic. The Towers of the Damned, levels 1 and 2. Oh, in Fields of Slaughter as well, sorry. Uh, Caverns of Frost, if you happen to find it. Also handy. Um, Towers of the Curse, level 1 and 2. And the Core of Ariat. Uh, the... There is a rainbow goblin shown in this video, which was found in that tower of the cursed level one. So yeah, all these locations have a reasonable chance of goblin spawning and hence hopefully a chance at a rainbow goblin. Finally, my runs I would typically finish off in act five with pandemonium fortress level one and two. Typically in those locations you either get zero goblins or two goblins. That's important to keep in mind that if you found a goblin already in those levels, actually got, you know, there really should be a second goblin. Okay, so once you've found your rainbow goblin, uh, the other thing to note at the current version of the game, and I'm making this in 2019, uh, patch 2.6.4, is that to enter the rainbow goblin portal you need to be in the game when the rainbow goblin is killed when they originally brought out rainbow goblins you could like farm independently and when someone found a rainbow goblin you could like join in basically um and when i got my wings that was the case but unfortunately blizzard made a change and that is no longer the case so you need to be in the game when the Rainbow Goblin is killed if you want to be able to get into that portal. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to some footage now in Towers of the Cursed Level 1 where a, to just show what a Rainbow Goblin looks like.
Okay. Oh, there's the rainbow gob. Okay. Found it! That's what a rainbow gob looks like. Makes a different portal. Kill him. <laughs> there we go, rainbow level. Okay, now looking for Princess Lillian again, I guess. Now to some footage of where we found Princess Lillian recently. Okay, one sec, one sec. Hold up. Coming in. Okay. Where is um Princess Lillian? <laughs> Sorry, detour here, guys. Looking for Princess Lillian for whoever hasn't got it in the script. How many of you don't have the wings? Two of you? Is that right? Yeah, Popo's got them. I've got them. But Cooler and Had don't have them, yeah? Okay. So, so two people don't have these wings. Oh, someone's dropping a legend. How come there's so many legendaries in normal? I've got three stars on my map. Pinata. Oh, right. I am running around like I'm a monk. I want to go get those stars, though. God, stop making stars. I'll get the stars later. Princess Lillian! I just killed Princess Lillian! I just killed Princess Lillian! Princess Lillian on me! On me. Just port to me. I just killed Princess Lillian. I didn't even freaking see her. I killed her that fast with Impale. Princess Lillian right here. Dead body on me. I don't get second wings apparently. <laughs> Princess Lillian! So keep in mind that Princess Lillian is a very, very rare spawn. Even once you have the Rainbow Goblin, she's got a very low chance to spawn in Whimsydale. Um, which is why you can hear when I found her, even though I already had the wings, I got really excited for my teammates. Because it's not easy to find people spend hundreds of hours, maybe thousands of hours, I don't know, searching for Princess Lillian um, and the Rainbow Goblins. As mentioned before, I don't have any footage of my own find of these, but I did take some screenshots back in 2016 because that's what I did. So I'm just going to show a few screenshots. Uh, keep in mind when these wings drop now in 2019, they do show as a legendary item in my screenshots back from 2016. They showed as a normal item, but they are definitely a legendary item in the current version of the game. So here's my first screenshot of me killing Princess Lillian back in September 2016. And then you can see after transition the cosmic wings on the ground, remembering that now they show as a legendary item, not a normal item. And finally the cosmic wings there, me very proud to have those in my stash, which you then right click to learn. GG.